Susan and Noodles. Uh, ain't gonna find no chili noodles in here. I mean, all the noodles are disappearing, y'all. Let me do a taste test. This is my first time actually doing a taste test in the middle of my haul video. So if you like that, let me know. Like if I get something new that I've never had, if you want me to try it, um, y'all let me know in the comments down below and I'll start doing that. I'll, you know, not every video because some things you have to cook. So not every video. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm masked up. That means I'm about to go into the Walmart. Um, I'm gonna do a store walkthrough before I start shopping, just to see what they have, to see if anything's missing from shelves or anything like that. Um, because lately, when I go in the store and I'm not shopping, if I'm going for my mom or whatever, I noticed that the sugar owl has not been replenished. It's not been stocked back up. Some of the seasonings are missing, flour, the meats are low. So I just wanna do a tour of the Walmart that I normally go to just to see before I start shopping. So I will see y'all in a little bit, but before I start, y'all go ahead and like this video because it helps the channel. Also subscribe to the channel if you have not. I would love to have you join me over here. I hope you can hear me through this mask. Um, so thank y'all for being here. And if you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone. In a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain. Turn around and let it rain on me. Don't you be afraid. So I did not know that they had this Pat LaBelle banana pudding pie. Or just banana pudding. Yeah, it's $9, y'all. It's a lot. And then they have the small one next to it for like $2.95. So y'all, she put her buggy there all in a hurry like she had an attitude. Honey, today is not the day. So there are some empty um, spots in these shelves. Let me know if your Walmart where you are is looking low on things or they're kind of stocked up. So over here, I was searching for the $8 salmon. There it is. Y'all, inflation is real. Another thing you can stock up on is the shelf milk. I've started doing that. Um, this bag was $15, but the one in the box, I believe, was $2.98. The last time I got the carnation milk, um, but it cost a little more, so I'll be getting the box. So I see here the sugar is still low. They don't have the medium-sized bags. All they have are the tiny bags. So I'm going to have to go to a different Walmart, y'all. They have a lot more clean supplies than they did before, but they still have some empty spaces here. Oh, 
Oh, but we taste so good. See, this why I shouldn't get a buggy. Golly. I got all that popcorn at home, but. So y'all, I was really fighting with myself on this decision. So y'all, I'm going in this haul now because I have a few more items to get and I'm going to put this phone in my pocket because I don't know if he's following me because I'm recording or not, but y'all stay tuned. I'm about to do the haul in my car and do a taste test as well on this Pat Bell banana pudding and also remember I love you but God loves you more he created only one you so be the best you you can be and when you are go out and spread God's love with distance wear your mask wash your hands love you okay y'all so I made it out the store okay I'm just going through my routine <laughs> um um getting sanitized here. So, as you can see, to wipe my keys off. As you can see, the store is not too bad. There are some weak spots in it where it needs to be replenished, um, restocked, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I use these wipes on my hands too. This is a, a new one, but anyhow, let's go over what I got. I told my husband I was gonna call him when I got out of the store, but y'all, I need to finish the video up. So, here's my prices here. So we're going to do our haul in the car because I only have two bags. I really went in there for one thing, which was the tater tots. And I had a few dollars on my card. So I saw these in here and somebody, I guess they busted open so they could see what kind of jar it was. I got some cannon jars. These are the 12 half pint ones. And these with the quilted, I love these better than the other ones. And these are so hard to come by, y'all, the quilted ones. So when I saw it, and I didn't even pick it up, and I didn't even know it was that until the lady was ringing it up, and one fell out in her hand. Thank God it fell out in her hand. Um, but I love those little jars. And I can tell you that off bat, it was $8.98 because I did scan it. And then I got something that I shouldn't have because y'all, I'm trying to lose some weight, but I saw, I was looking at a different haul by somebody and she had, I don't know if these were the ones she had, but they're similar. They're nerds. I haven't had nerds in a long time. And these were, I believe, $1.78, but I don't want to lie to you. So, No, that was the other one. Give me a second. The nerds were $1.78. The jelly jars were $8.48. I'm going to go ahead and give you the prices. The popcorn was $2.68. The tater tots were $1.68. And the Pet of the Bell banana pudding was $2.24. So let me show you that. These are the popcorn that I got. These are new. I've never seen these before, so this is a new find for me. Um, then here is the Petal of Bell. I don't know if you can see that because of the lighting. I'm gonna bring it up to you and hopefully my phone will focus it. This is the banana pudding. See her little stamp right there. So this is her banana pudding, y'all. Don't that look good? It's, I don't know. It's not a lot of the pudding stuff in there. See, it's only 
it's only a little bit right up in here all of this is like cream y'all i'm not a um i'm gonna try it for y'all too so because i said i was gonna try it so i'm gonna try it and what's the other thing oh the tater tot was the one thing i came for y'all i'm a sucker for popcorn depends on what kind it is and they used to have the uh, sweet and salty popcorn back when, well, maybe a year or two ago. And for some reason, they don't make it anymore. The ones they do make, it don't taste the same. So these are the tater tots that I got right here. These are two pound bags right here. For so y'all, I'm at home and I'm using my Ninja Foodie inside. I have the tater tots and some fish sticks, um, the fillets that I put in there. And then I set it to 12 minutes. Um, I'm probably gonna cook something in here so you can just see me use this. I got this for Christmas. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is, these are, are the um, tater tots that I got from the store and it makes eight bags that two pound makes eight bags i normally don't do this but since you know the kids are home from school and they seem to be going through everything really really fast you know what i'm saying so this might hold them accountable for how much they're eating so they can just grab a bag and know it's 15 in each bag and then i have you know a number in this um ninja foodie right here so um, this is what I'm probably going to start doing from now on is just separating the stuff for them and putting it into the deep freezer and then that might free up some space for me too. So I just want to share that tip with y'all. But we're going to get Patty, 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 Patty. We're going to give her a try. See that one? Cookie. See all that? Why, why is all that? Where the pudding at y'all? I'm sorry about the lighting. Where is the pudding? As uh, Bill Cosby. Child, why is my, um, why are my cannon jars over here popping like I done canned something? What the heck? Okay, we're gonna try it. No, you gotta smell it. You have to smell it, y'all. It smells good. I'm trying to get some pudding with it, y'all. I want everything in that one bite. Oh, Lord, I didn't drop the bite. This is going to be a big bite. Yeah, you try it first. Tell me how it tastes. How it tastes. Can you see it? Let me say a prayer. Lord, bless this food I'm about to taste. May it nourish my body in whatever way it can because I know it's not healthy. But whatever nourishment is in it, Heavenly Father, put it within my body. And as I put this in my mouth and it goes down my throat to my stomach, bless my stomach, Lord. Bless my insides. Cover it, Heavenly Father, like Pepto-Bismol, that nothing, nothing will harm it. Amen. Y'all like that prayer? I hope y'all did. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me let me wash my palate. Let me let me try that again before I before I really tell y'all. One more try. I'm gonna have to do an extra 10 minutes on that elliptical. I'm gonna have to do an extra 10 minutes. This stuff off bat is sweet. I love sugar like the next person. But you would think somebody who, don't she have diabetes or something? I love Patty. 
But don't she have diabetes? Why is this so sweet, Patty? Can y'all hear that grinding on my teeth? Can y'all hear that? Watch. Mm-mm. <clears throat> okay. I feel a sugar rush. I feel a sugar rush right here. Mm-mm. Where's my trash bag, guys? Turn one of these into a trash bag. Mm-mm. It tastes good with the exception the sugar is grinding you know how when you eat something and you don't mix it well it's a gritty grind or if you're on the beach here you go if you're on the beach and you walking and you chilling with your man or your girl uh, <laughs> and a good breeze come by whoop, you saw that whoop, that wind brought sand within your mouth and now you got when you bite that's what it was like the, the i see what she going for this right here has nothing on and i i'm gonna be honest i make a good banana pudding but i don't make a great banana pudding because that's not my thing My mother-in-law makes a slamming, jamming banana pudding. And I don't eat banana pudding, but I will eat it when she make it. I will eat a little bit of it anyway. But my kids, they will tear it up. My husband will tear it up. This right here, they if when they do taste this, they going to be like, they'll probably eat it because, you know, they're teenagers. But they're going to say, oh, this is real sweet. Like, I don't taste the sugar within my mother-in-law's banana pudding. It just is sweet, but you don't taste like like somebody sitting there um, pouring one of them little candy stick things that got the powder in like Kool-Aid in your mouth. No. This ain't for me, so I'm letting y'all know. Um, but my taste buds are not your taste buds. So I say that to say, don't let what I'm saying keep you from buying Patty LaBelle's banana pudding. But before you buy that big one that you saw in my haul, I would try the little one first before I put my money on that big one. This little one is two something. And the big one is more. So, yeah, y'all. Well, I did my taste test within <laughs> my haul. So I will probably try to do that at least twice a month um if it's something that i can do that's new that's not something i have to go home unpack do the haul and cook it those videos will be later like i'll try something so that's it for this i'm sorry this little part took so long y'all i apologize but when I do my, um, I don't know, I'm going to try to make it less than um, 25 minutes. No promises. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel because we would love to have you here on Tommy Bites Homestead. Right here. If you put in Tommy Bites TV, guess what? Boop, I'm coming up. And also share my videos out if you can comment down below so you know we can chit chat get to know each other a little bit you know i try to get to all i get to all of my um comments now i make sure i make that a priority to get to my comments now now i might not be able to give a long paragraph like i do for some of them but i will give you a heart let you know i read it because you took the time to watch it and your opinions matter to me it helps my channel grow. I see where you're coming from. I can look at it from the opposite side 
and adjust anything that I need to adjust. So if you have any ideas that you want to see on this channel, please let me know. I'm not saying I'm going to do them all, but I am saying I will read them. And if it fits within what I'm doing, then I will do it. And let me see. Hey, Lulu, how you doing? Hey, World of Apollonia. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Granny Karma. Uh, this is my old book. I've been writing new names down. And I will shout out all the um, all the people that I see on a consistent basis. I will try to shout you out in that video or throughout my other ones, but I don't have that paper with me at the moment. So, hey, Mama T speaks. You know, I'm my mind does not remember well. So, y'all, I love y'all so much. Remember, like the video, subscribe, share, comment down below. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.